Welcome to Guac Gaming. Guac King here, and we're doing a 2020 recap on Red Dead Online. And we're gonna go over the changes from January 1st, 2020, all the way to now. If you go on to like this video, consider dropping me a like and subscribing as that really helps grow the channel. So Red Dead Online in 2020 is really a tale of two halves. For the first six to seven months, Red Dead Online was broken. There were glitches with the new moonshine roll. Animals were extremely rare around the map, so much so that I was bringing ravens to crypts because I couldn't find anything else around the map. People were finding ways around the fact that they couldn't find animals like starting moonshine missions or legendary bounties and collecting pelts while on the mission just to keep their trader going. I know a lot of people stopped playing altogether and I toned it back a lot, but the people that didn't stop playing, really the one thing you could do that didn't have glitches or anything was to grind the gene rope map and a lot of people that stuck around during that time dressed up as clowns just as a way to protest the rockstar to fix the game it was truly broken then finally on july 28th the naturalist role comes out and people drop their clown makeup and clothes for a camera and a varmint rifle the naturalist role update really saved the game by fixing animal spawns and adding a ton of content. Of course, Rockstar can't release an update without breaking something, so people could buy the advanced bow variant from Gus, and it didn't show that it was bought, so you could buy it over and over and over again for 12 gold bars a piece. And with Outlaw Pass number four, for like the first day or so, some people couldn't grind XP and level it up. And when you got to level 15 of the Naturalist, it was supposed to make legendary animals a little easier to find, but it actually did the opposite. But these issues were small potatoes, considering now we can actually play the game. There's animals around. Now there's legendary animals. There's new coats, which the coats seem to be pretty low effort from Rockstar. They all just have an animal head on the top. Nothing like the single player campaign but i will say that the rams and the wolves are really cool but overall the lobby seemed to be working again with more content but part of the lobby fix solution was to lower the amount of players in the lobby we ended up with lobbies having five or fewer real players in them but the game had never worked better now toward the end of the year we're back up to 12-ish players in a lobby compared to 25 from before and the lobbies are pretty stable but random events don't spawn quite as often as they did back when the lobbies were really small but it works pretty well. Next thing in line, we had the Halloween pass. And this kind of changed the game because it was the first pass to not pay you back. But there was a lot of content in it for 15 gold bars. A moonshine shack decor, which can typically cost you 12 gold bars anyway. Rolling block variant. Some cool clothing like the hand wraps and the eye wraps. And a number of other things. So for 15 gold bars, it was actually pretty good. But it set up a precedence for Rockstar to not pay you back in full when you buy one of these passes but technically it wasn't an outlaw pass. And I thought this pass was pretty nice because it seemed to be the first thing Rockstar did in a while that was a head nod to players that have been in it for a while. To even have a moonshine shack, you have to pay 15 gold bars to get the trader and then level the trader up and then pay 25 more gold bars to get the moonshine shack to begin with. And then you have to buy the bar. So for the main prize of the Halloween pass to be a decor for the moonshine shack, that was actually pretty cool. And I think it was well worth it and well done. So the Halloween pass ends up getting extended to the end of November, which was a little weird having a Halloween pass active during Thanksgiving, but whatever. But the beginning of December marks a lot of new content and a little bit of turmoil to go with it. So we get the outlaw pass number five, and it's the first outlaw pass to not pay you back all the way. So you do get some gold bars as rewards, but there's a difference of 10 gold bars that you're just not gonna get back. But if you look at what's in the outlaw pass, it's well worth 10 gold bars, including some ammo capacity upgrades for rifles and repeaters. On top of that, there was a bounty hunter expansion. So most people wanted to see some sort of lawman or gunslinger role come out. So an expansion to the bounty hunter seemed to be a little bit weak. And on top of that, it costs 15 gold bars to get the advanced bounty hunter license, which kind of already thought we had, but there was a lot of content added to it, like infamous bounties, some more legendary bounties, wagon liveries, which is awesome and the ability to gain gold with Bounty Hunter XP when you hit the max level at 30. Which that's pretty cool because up to this point, if you hit max level with a roll, that XP just is nothing. It doesn't mean anything. That being said, you get a half a gold bar for every 10,000 XP, which is not a lot, 
but it's nice. And all that sounds great, but it was off the back of a massive daily challenge gold nerf. So with the expansion being just as expensive as buying into the bounty hunter to begin with, and the outlaw pass being the first one that didn't pay you back in full, and a daily challenge gold nerf, the community really saw it as a money grab from Rockstar. And I have to agree with them, I was pretty pissed off too. Mostly because Rockstar warned us that it was coming, but they didn't warn us in full. They told us they were going to start resetting daily challenge streaks every time you hit 28 days, but they didn't tell us they were going to drop the daily challenge reward per challenge by 50%. So it was pretty poorly communicated by Rockstar. We've got all of 2021 to look forward to though. It's already been leaked that Outlaw Pass number 6 is going to have a trader theme to it, varmint rifle ammo upgrades, and some trader looking clothes. I'm hoping it'll have the same type of expansion as the bounty hunter roll did, where at level 30 we can start making gold off of our XP. But hopefully 2021 doesn't just have roll expansions. We're looking for new rolls. The bandit, lawman, gunslinger update that everyone was kind of hoping for for this year. You could also do a gentleman or gambler roll. That could take some more of the single player gambling and add it to online. Some new weapons or ability cards would be awesome. Like the M1899, which is already in the game. I know the community really wants flying vehicles too, like hot air balloons or, or what have you. And I think it'd be cool if they add some more PVP maps. And it'd be cool if they add some of the Mexico PVP maps from Red Dead 1. But at Guac Gaming, our big bold prediction for next year is that they're going to do a Red Dead Redemption 1 remake and release it in October with the original Undead Nightmare. And I think they'll add some of that Undead Nightmare and the Mexico map to Red Dead Online in conjunction with that release. We have nothing to back that up. We just think that might happen. So Red Dead Online 2020 in a nutshell, we started the year off with a game that was almost unplayable and broken and now we're back to christmas and sure the moonshiner still has some glitches to it as a matter of fact earlier today i had a moonshine run just fail on me hit the black screen never came back so is the game 100 percent heck no but the game we're looking at today from a year ago is a lot better and you could tell that Rockstar, even with their bad communication and poor update execution, they're really building a pretty amazing game with Red Dead Online. So I'm not mad at them. Now if you liked this video or you thought it was interesting, drop me a like and subscribe for more Red Dead Online content. Next time you bring the chips, cause I got the guac.